If you grew up watching The Andy Griffith Show, you remember Sheriff Andy Taylor as he ensured the townspeople of Mayberry were safe. He also had to juggle this with looking after his son Opie as he was a widower. But we could have seen Andy Taylor getting married. In the first season of the show, Andy had a romantic interest, Eleanor Ellie Walker played by Eleanor Donahue. But the romance didn't go further and the character was eventually written out of the show. But why did this happen? We finally have an answer. Let's look back at why Eleanor Donahue left The Andy Griffith Show and what she's been up to since then. This video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Eleanor Donahue Eleanor Donahue was born April 19, 1937 in Tacoma, Washington. She began her career in show business at 16 months old. She performed as a tap dancer and soon graduated to vaudeville and performing in popular musical films. During her teens, she had a few small roles in popular features like Love is Better Than Ever, Three Daring Daughters, and Girls Town. In the mid-50s, she began seeking roles in television. She found a few bit parts in shows like The Loretta Young Show, Where's Raymond, and Goodyear Theater. But the show that made her a household name was the sitcom Father Knows Best. She played Betty, the eldest daughter on the show. She appeared on 196 episodes and became a popular TV star. The Andy Griffith Show the Andy Griffith Show premiered in 1960, just as Father Knows Best was wrapping up. The show took place in a charming southern town called Mayberry. It was a friendly place but had its share of bad apples, so there was always a need for the sheriff in town to keep the peace. Mayberry's sheriff was Sheriff Andy Taylor, played by Andy Griffith. In the show, he had to protect Mayberry and juggle being a single father. From the start, it's explained Andy is a widow. Throughout the show, we saw Andy with different love interests. In the first season, that was Ellie Walker, played by Eleanor Donahue. Donahue was now a star due to her role from Father Knows Best. Ellie Walker takes over the local drugstore and she and Andy soon become an item. The character appeared throughout the first season and was the perfect companion to Andy. Andy had the necessary toughness we'd hope to find in a town sheriff, but he also had a softer side, and Ellie Walker helped bring it out of him. She played the role perfectly. She represented the ideal American woman that we saw in sitcoms of the 50s and 60s. She was gentle, well-dressed, and caring towards her man and to children. Andy and Ellie seemed like the perfect couple, and sure enough, audiences at the time might have expected them to get married, perhaps in the second season. But after the first season, we didn't hear from Ellie Walker again. But why was she written out of the show? Why she left The Andy Griffith Show now we finally know why Eleanor Donahue left The Andy Griffith Show. Following the end of Father Knows Best, Eleanor was going through some issues in her personal life. She wasn't in the right space in her life and going directly to a new show was a struggle. She stated she didn't know what to expect from the new show. She only knew she'd work alongside Andy Griffith, but knew little about her character or how the show would turn out. She felt partially excited to join the cast, but she also found it challenging to adapt to her new character. During read-throughs, many of her funniest lines were being given to other characters. Often it was thought Don Knotts could deliver her comic lines better. This undermined her self-confidence, and she must have felt her character was being underdeveloped. While Ellie Walker was a loved character on the show, one could argue she didn't have the appeal of Andy, Barney, or Opie, or even Aunt B. Years later, Eleanor Donahue would speak to Karen Knotts, the daughter of Don Knotts, who played Barney Fife about her experience on the show. She discussed how many funny lines that were initially intended for her would go to Don Knotts. She felt Andy Taylor and Barney Fife were such rich characters, but that Ellie's character was underdeveloped. She also felt her role on the show was undermined and her talents weren't being recognized. As a result, she felt it was best for her to leave the show. If you care about your internet privacy, you could benefit from Surfshark VPN, today's video's sponsor. Surfshark VPN is a privacy protection tool to keep your information safe online. You simply download the Surfshark program and turn it on to encrypt all your internet usage data. This will protect your personal information, keeping it out of the hands of cyber criminals. Surfshark VPN can also be used to change your virtual location, giving you access to streaming content that is typically restricted to other countries. For example, Netflix has some films and TV shows that can only be streamed from outside of the United States. With Surfshark VPN, you can get access to any Netflix library you choose. If you'd like to try out Surfshark, be sure to use the code FAXFIRST to get 83% off plus 3 extra months free. Don't worry, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out. Visit surfshark.deals slash faxfirst 
or click on the link in the description below to get started today. The Reaction Andy Griffith claims he blamed himself and was also upset at the writers for not creating a better character and giving better lines to Ellie Walker. He claimed it was clear the writers didn't know how to create Ellie into a fully-fledged character and therefore they obliged and let Eleanor leave the show without issue. Eleanor felt she was dismissed, as she wasn't seen as a great asset to the show. Indeed, the show went on, and while her character was loved by audiences, her departure certainly didn't have the same effect as when Don Knotts left a few seasons later. But despite the fact that some of her best lines were given to Don Knotts, this never led to any animosity between the two stars. In fact, Don and Eleanor became close friends. During her personal struggles, Don was by her side. When Eleanor joined The Andy Griffith Show, she had recently been divorced and had a child to look after. She wasn't in the best space to join a new sitcom as a lead character after finishing another popular sitcom where she was a lead. Don Knotts would occasionally call her to ask how she was doing. He provided her with emotional support, which she never forgot. In an interview with Karen Knotts, Eleanor recalled how friendly and helpful Don was during one of the hardest times of her life. Eleanor's Career Luckily, Eleanor Donahue's career didn't slow down after her departure from The Andy Griffith Show. It took her a while to get back to playing lead roles or roles with any major significance, however. She played bit parts in shows such as General Electric Theater, 77 Sunset Strip, Have Gun Will Travel, and The Eleventh Hour. She got back into the groove when she was cast as Joan Randall in Many Happy Returns. This was a lead role in a sitcom, and she was now back into the limelight. She continued to get work in popular shows, including a cameo in Star Trek and a supporting role in the TV comedy film In Name Only. She also landed a recurring role in the show The Flying Nun. She later landed major recurring roles in shows such as The Odd Couple, Mulligan Stew, and The Love Boat. She had a regular role on the soap opera Days of Our Lives. Throughout the 80s and 90s, she returned to her roots as a TV star, appearing in major recurring roles in shows such as The New Adventures of Beans Baxter, Generations, and Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. She also appeared in a few reunion programs for Father Knows Best. Her final role was as Judge Marie Anderson in a few episodes of The Young and the Restless in 2010 and 2011. Since then, she's retired from acting, but gives occasional interviews about her career. Now it's time to hear from you. Would you have preferred to see more of her on The Andy Griffith Show? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to click the link below and try out Surfshark VPN. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.